they face the Seahawks in the playoffs. Suppose Jason Campbell's healthy. Should he start the playoff game, or should Joe Gibbs stick with Todd Collins? I believe, and I'm a fan of Jason Campbell. I love his poise, but I believe you can lose your job to injury. And Todd Collins has got this team winning three in a row, and if they make the playoffs, that will be four wins in a row. I go with the hot hand, John. Now, you got Jason Campbell over there. If Todd Collins struggles early in a playoff game, but to me, you don't sit a guy down who's been out for a month and has been banged up and hurt and hope that he gets rhythm in a playoff game, especially since you don't get a bye week and, and risk playing him. Now, nah, I go with the hot hand. Todd Collins deserves to be the starter if, in fact, they win and get to the playoffs this weekend. See, there you go again, Sean, sticking up for the backup quarterback. I stick you're up for the guy who gives me the best chance to win. You're hanging around with. Well, listen, when you go with backup quarterbacks, and again, I know with you it was kind of like play a game and then wait for a couple of years, but in the case, normally what happens is that you win three with a backup quarterback, and then if you play him six, you can lose three. Hey, listen, this franchise is developed on how Jason Campbell does. If he's healthy, he comes back and starts. Todd's done a nice job running the offense, but the more he plays, the more teams can kind of figure out what he can do. That's why, in the end, if Jason Campbell, this is the guy that they need to go with. Because remember, it's not just this year. Joe Gibbs is coming back for probably a couple more years. They're developing somebody that can help win in the playoffs. Can't do that. I don't know what stop this about developing for two years. We're not talking about what's going to happen in 2009. Jason Campbell will be emotionally and mentally tough enough to deal with this if he's healthy and doesn't get the start. And as far as the backups go, John, I, I, I'm, unfortunately you wouldn't understand this because you were busy handing out towels and writing articles about the quarterbacks that we played that you never got a chance to play. The other side of it is, Todd, I want to go with gives me the best chance to win. Jason Campbell, Todd Collins, you, somebody else, whoever it is, gives me the best chance to win. I'm not worried about it. It's not the feel-good business. You're so worried about 2009 and some guy's future. Todd Collins, if he's got him four straight wins, deserves to be on the field and gives them the best chance to win at that time. Sean, backup quarterbacks this year, 46, 79. Wait a minute. Do, they, do we have a question on backups? Or do they ask the question about one backup? Well, with this Todd starter? John. No, he's John, the backup. you've got to do yourself a favor. You've got to study some tape and understand the position, and then you'll be qualified to come. You've got to on. study a roster. Starter, backup. Starter, backup. Oh, that's right. That's right. You were the guy who said David Gerard you know had no business being the starter, that it was a bad move by Jack Del Rio for Byron Leftwich. Weren't you that guy? It's, huh. It's you want that one back, don't you? Where's the love? It's you want that one back, don't you? Sean Salisbury, John.